Hey guys, the team over at Amino Simon is a really cool app. I checked it out. I hung out with some of the community there. Basically, it's like a blend between Reddit, Twitter, and Discord. So you can sit there communicate with people, not only just Rocket League, but pretty much anything. They have all these different sub communities. I really enjoyed my time there. You could do like, um, I did like a blog post and uh, some Twitter or some polls and stuff like that. So check out the description, the link below. Uh, give them a shout out. Tell them Tryhard sent you. What's going on, everybody? Mr. Tryhard here, and I'm really excited to announce this brand new series that I'm doing. Um, this is gonna be a trader versus trader series. I recently did this um, social experiment to see who would try to scam my white zombas. And if you've seen that video, a lot of people complained that if they, you know, if sharking is bad and they can't take advantage of people who don't know prices, how are they supposed to make profit? Well, the series is getting together experienced traders who have been around the scene and having them formulate strategies on how they can make a higher amount of profit on this trade. Also, to make it more interesting, we're putting a poll on Twitter where you guys can go vote and tell us who got the better trade and why. Um, and make sure you leave a comment down below as well. With that said, this trade is going to be a full Zama set that I have for a handful of black markets that Hendo has plus Titanium White Dracos. Now there's three things that um, I'm going to argue that make his trade to me better, more profitable for me. Okay, so number one, he's given me a bunch of black market decals, including Heat Wave and 20XX and a few others. But both of those black market decals have been going up a lot recently, okay? If you look at the Heat Wave, it was down to like 13.5 to 14.5 and it's all the way up to 19 to 20 right now. He's given me six Heat Waves, I believe. Then if they continue to go up, I'll be making, you know, however many keys per Heat Wave times the number of Heat Waves. So it's a good buy and hold strategy. The second thing is the white Dracos. The white Dracos have been going up in value as well. And the white Dracos were as high as I think like 150 keys when they first came out. They were really expensive and they held that value for a long time, but for some reason had a significant drop and they haven't come back up since then. Now they have been slowly creeping up, but we know historically they have a high price in range that they could go back up to. So again, another possible buy and hold strategy with those white Dracos, same as white Zombos. The only downside though is that uh, Dracos have not been retired yet and that's the risk that I have to bear by holding these white Dracos is that uh, they could get more inventory as people open up the crates and go down in value as a result. Now the last part of my argument is the fact that the black market decals that he's given me have a much smaller price gap and what I mean is the low end of the range and the high end of the range are only one key difference for the majority of them, like the heat waves, the 20 XXs. Um, so if I sell it, it's gonna be a lot harder for somebody to argue against me to accept a lower amount. Whereas the Zambas, some of them have as high as a three key price gap. So for the Zamba set, the low end range is 257, the high end range is 292. For his black markets and white Dracos, his low end is 270, 291. So right out the gate, uh, I have a, a 13 key higher low end range than he does. So even if we both took the low end range on every single item, I would make 13 keys profit than he would. So that that gives me a lot less risk when I'm, I'm doing these trades. Now that's not you know that's not my plan. I'm not going to just go and take the low end of everything. Uh, I'll probably buy and hold the heat waves and maybe a couple of 20xx's. I'm not sure yet, but then I'll sell some of the other ones that I don't need because I do have a ton of black market decals, and um, you know I'll probably try to get mid tier if not high tier and just uh, wait till the right buyer comes in. So guys, that's what's going on. We're gonna go cut, uh, cut to the actual trade itself. And again, make sure you leave a comment down below, go vote on Twitter, let me know what you think about the trade and who got the better deal. Um, okay, so first off, thank you for, for being here, Hendo. You know, I know you're really busy at Trade Planet and everything. Uh, you guys, you know, you, uh, you're an officer there, but you're also a middleman and stuff like that too, right? Yeah, and uh, Metal Manning, uh, if you guys are interested, sorry for this uh, shameless plug tried, but... Uh, no, go ahead, man, that's fine. <laughs> so, Metal Manning on Trade Planet, uh, by the way, first of all, link in the description, discord.gg4 slash trade. That gets you on a Discord server where you can use uh, middlemen on there. So, um, if you're doing big trades and you don't want to get scammed, you go on there and use the middlemen, and that eliminates any chance of getting scammed, which is uh, one of the big points of this video, actually, uh, since we're doing actually like a really big trade here. Yeah, absolutely. And that's nice, too, uh, because we're not doing keys. We don't actually need a middleman, right? Mm -hmm. So all your black markets, and I think you had Titanium White Dracos, um, end up being in you know, similar value, and we can do it all in one trade window, which is really cool. 
Um, I also wanted to add real quick, guys, make sure you get on Twitter, okay? We're doing this trader versus trader thing, and you guys actually, I want to hear your opinion. So make sure you leave a comment below. Tell us what you thought about the trade. Who did better? And then go on Twitter and vote on the poll. Uh, the link's in the description below because I want to see who do you think got the better deal. And then Hindo, are you going to do like a follow-up video afterwards? To yeah. Sell? Okay. Yeah, so what the Zombus said, obviously you can go in multiple directions with it, selling them individually or, you know, obviously finding one buyer for the set. So mm -hmm. I'd probably be interested in making a follow-up video and seeing how much I actually get in keys or whatever for all of it compared to maybe when you do a follow-up video or if you do one to see how much you get and really see who is the winner of this challenge I guess <laughs> yeah and I'm and I'm curious because I, I want to see your video like I want to see what your arguments were mm -hmm. right like I like I know if I'm in your shoes like I know what I would say but I'm curious to see like what you came up with, right? So yeah. So guys at home, you know, make sure you watch both sides because he's gonna have his arguments, I'm gonna have mine, and uh, yeah, I'm just curious to see who comes out on top of this. Okay, let's see here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, and rock through these prices. All right. So we have uh, black zombas, which are 27 to 31. Burnt sienna, which is two to three. Cobalt, five to seven. Crimson 10 to 12, Forest Green 9 to 12, Gray 10 to 12. And there's like a, a weird bug going on these lime ones. It's showing. Do you see do you see lime zombas or do you see regular zombas? For uh, my end, I see lime zombas. It's so weird. Mine has a regular zombie graphic on it. Mm. Well. <laughs> but the, it has the lime color around it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Alright, so then the lime zombas were 5 to 7, orange 4 to 6, pink 4 to 5. Purple 9 to 11, Saffron 5 to 7, Sky Blue, which are one of my favorites by far, 12 to 14, and then the illustrious, coveted White Zamba, 155 to 165. These things are on fire right now, mm -hmm. Hendo. Agreed. These White Zambas, they're insane. Why don't you go ahead and go through yours, man? What do you got? All right, it sounds good. So first up on the list, we got three 20 XXs, which are worth 25 to 26 keys a piece. Then we got a biomass, which is worth three to four keys, six heat waves, which are worth each 19 to 20 keys. Hex, which is worth, I believe, eight to nine keys. Yep. Parallax worth seven to eight keys. And then two Torahs worth two to 2.5 to 3.5 keys, excuse me, each. And then finally, similarly to your white Zambas, which have been going up a lot in value in the past few weeks, white Dracos, which are worth 58 to 65 keys. They have, they, cause they were down to like 40 something, I think. Yep. A few weeks ago, yeah. And the Zambas, I think the lowest I saw them was, it was like right before Overdrive. It was uh, 105 to 115. That was the bottom I saw them hit, so. Yep. It's interesting, it's, you know, to watch these things go up and down. Now, the reason, guys, the reason why I have him adding Titanium White Dracos is because I don't have them yet. So it's road to everything. A, a shameless plug real quick. So uh, make sure if you, I have a spreadsheet, again, in the description below with my live inventory. I keep it up to date 24-7 after every trade, I update it. So if you have something that I don't have, especially those painted rare decals or the um, painted RLCS decal items, please hit me up. Uh, my Steam and my Discord, everything else. Hit me up on Discord, preferably. But um, yeah, I'm interested in buying those because they're really hard to find. A lot of people just trade up the uh, the painted rares, so mm -hmm. they're kind of hard to, to get. But um, shameless plug over. <laughs> so you feel free to edit that out if you want. <laughs> so. Okay, so we went through all the prices. I guess mm -hmm. all that's left is to accept the trade, man. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready if you are. Uh, I'm definitely ready. I'm excited to see like the next chapter where we take this and uh, kind of not who wins, but you know, like how how you, what you make of it and and as far as profit and everything goes. So, all right, it's about to go. Last chance to back out. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> hey, well, try hard. I wish you the best of luck. I, I'm actually really excited to see what your argument is. I know I have a pretty good argument as well. Yeah, you you too, Hendo. I mean, you're you're a very experienced trader, man. So I I'm really curious to hear what you had to say. Um, I know no matter what it is, it could I could have traded you a plunger and you would have made <laughs> something out of it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, agree. Um, <laughs> I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for doing this trade with me. And uh, yeah, again, I can't wait to see your video and your follow up video. And uh, yeah, man, thanks again. 
Uh, thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, all right? All right, peace, peace. All right, guys, that's the that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, I'm glad it worked out for both of us. You know, I'm really curious to see like what Hindo does with that Zama set. You know, those white Zamas are fire. People are really looking for them. So, you know, he, he has a couple advantages with that and the fact that CC4 is already retired and that PCC will be retired soon. And the fact that the Zama set has already been in the PCC crate, I can't imagine them bringing it again. So he has that advantage over me. Um, but again, I've already made my arguments at the beginning of the video, so we'll just, I guess, have to see like who gets the better deal out of this. Again, let me remind you one more time, please go vote on Twitter. Let me know who you thought got the better deal and leave a comment down below for any of your thoughts on this trade. Like, what would you have done in this situation? Would you have taken the black markets or would you have taken the Zomba set? That's in the video, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later.